Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add your encoder settings to Radio Boss or your streaming settings to Radio Boss, I should say. We're going to be basically adding the IP, the port, and the password to the encoder. So, pretty much, what goes live on Radio Boss goes live to the station. So, first things first, we're going to click on the little gear icon at the very top. It's right next to the globe. Then, we're going to click on broadcast. And then, we're going to click on the plus button here in the encoders box. It'll open up the encoder settings. And then it's going to ask us for our server, password, and here we can change the sample rate, encoder, bitrate, and channels. And most of the time we leave this uh, as it is, but you can click on bitrate and you can raise it all the way up to 320, which is an incredibly high bitrate. Um, and it just really depends on the amount of music or the type of music you're playing. So bitrate, the more, the better, but normally it's on 128. So then we're going to click on configuration wizard, and it's going to allow us to choose our server type. Most of the time it's Shoutcast v1, Shoutcast v2, or Icecast, but it can also be Windows Media Server or Start Build-In Server. So like I said, most of the time we use v1, v2, Shoutcast, or Icecast. For the sake of the video, I'm going to be using Icecast. We're going to click on Next. Then it's going to ask for a server address, which is most of the time our IP, then our port, and then it's going to ask for a username, password, and the mount point. When it comes to Icecast, it's normally slash live. So we're going to go ahead and once we have that filled out, we're going to click on Finish. It's going to ask us to please enter a server address. For now, I don't have anything, so we're just going to click on Cancel. So you should click Finish. So now the server password automatically should be filled up and ready on your screen once you've added your information. And then we're going to click on Station Info. And then here we put the name of our station, the description, the URL of our website, the genre, and then the AIM, IRC, and ICQ. Most of the time, we leave these three boxes on empty, but we enter our, pretty much our website and our station info here. Then we're going to click on Metadata. We leave that as it is. And the statistics. Then we're going to click on specify the server to get the statistics from. And then we're going to click server type. This goes pretty much uh, on par with what we said here in connection. So configuration wizard, if you chose shoutcast for the statistics, you're going to choose shoutcast. But if you chose icecast, you're going to click on icecast. It's going to ask us once again for the server IP, the port, the password, and the mount point. The mount point, which would be slash live. So once we click that, we're going to click on OK. I'm pressing cancel because I'm not filling it out. And then pretty much once we have that, it'll show up over here with a little checkbox on it. Then we're going to click on Broadcasting Enabled. And then we're going to click on the little box, and it automatically should connect. So you should see here on the left side, uh, pretty much in the logs, it's connected to server. If it doesn't, it'll probably give you an error, and then you just have to go back and see what you input. Uh, most of the time, it gives you an error code, like error 123 is for password incorrect. So things like that. And then one more thing that I always like to uh, turn on is here, when it says Show on Air when Broadcasting is turned on, we're going to click on it. And then we're going to click on OK. And automatically on the top right, we're going to see an on-air button. So what this does is that when you're on the air, this on-air button is bright red showing you that you're on the air. So pretty much it's an easy way to see if your, your station's live or not. So once we're going to just go back here, we're going to click on the gear icon, broadcast. Basically, once you're set here and it says connect to the server, you're all set. But I also like to go here and click right under broadcast metadata. And we like to change this. We like to put the name of our station, the description. We like to put, for example, live or powered by. And then the website and the genre one more time. Like I said, we keep these three empty, and you can also add the logo so it shows up right next to where it says on air. Once we have that, we just click OK, and you're basically all set. The station is live, you're playing the music, and you're pretty much good to go. If you have any questions or comments or any issues, feel free to leave them in the comments section below, and I'm happy to help. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.